Me, Jason. Yeah. It's gonna be me, Jason, Caleb, Ian. Oh, Scrittler's name is about four block away. I just let it be out there in the gray water. I'm not sure Zelda is in like most of the opponents, so it's fine. So, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's exactly how it's gonna work. This seems impossible. From the, that shield would just not. They turn into a skittle. Dying. Yeah, Phantom getting buffed made like the shield pressure really scary now. Yeah, you're gonna have to walk me through all the actual changes. I know they did stuff. I don't know what works and what doesn't. Her, okay, her nair connects better. Uh, her, up, her up air actually hits things. That made her side be bigger and stronger. Okay. Um, it's a little quality of life things. Yeah. I think her up throw might be stronger, and Phantom does more damage. And it blows people off. <laughs> well, it was certainly effective right there. Yeah, that ledge that was kind of broken. I played Violet in a single game, and I don't really have a grasp on how to use uh, her. Carefully. Yeah, I suppose, but I mean, the character seems like it's going to be explosive. Like, yeah, no, that's exactly what they are. Uh, Jason's playing in melee. Shivers is here. These two are playing. I guess I'll play Nathan. Okay. I will return shortly. I shall see you then, my friend. Who am I playing? Nathan? Nathan! This is the joy of trying to run a bracket and commentate at the same time, so folks will drop in and out at will, so you're stuck with your resident dude fanatic for the moment. Uh, screw it. I don't want to say running away, but definitely taking command here. And I absolutely hate going to nail by Zelda being no matter how legitimate it may be or may not be, it's a pain in the ass. Holy hell, that was so nice. But I mean, I guess it's what you expect from Violet. Lining up the fan there. Very good edge guard with that uh, side B. Like, uh, putting your opponents into situations where they have to be in a position like that. So, not just quite sure if it was an actual screen trap, but good on it. Jeez. Feels like Ghost is trying to muscle his way through, and I'm sure to some extent that's what you have to do with Violet. But uh, definitely watch to try to play the space in game now to an extent where you can. Hey, bro. Trying to slow things down. Oh my lord. Lightning kick. Set that up well because he would have hit with the Phantom regardless, it looks like. Okay, and I gotta say, I most likely will agree with this Ridley pick. Um, Ridley is definitely a character that Ghost is accustomed to, and I think they will find a lot more success. Okay, he's finally getting the little spring going off that down tilt. And it looked like in the beginning there, he was really struggling with finding Scrid's timings. So, it looks like he's starting to catch on. The Phantom will interrupt that side B. What name? Uh, I was joking with you. 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 I was joking with
You're welcome. I'll look away and it's even again, so it's almost like a start and over. Definitely feel like that was supposed to be a grab there, but he gets the side B. No punish on that Dallas match. I think he definitely could have done it with stretch space. And it looks like he's got some traps set up here, so let's see what he can do off stage. But this should be pretty vulnerable. Ops not to get the deep. I really hate how easily you can get jab off that if they mash out of the side B. But uh, can't argue with the results there, so you know, it's going up a stock. And now he's just got to avoid all the offstage stuff. Wow. I feel like that wasn't true, but it definitely worked out. Oh my lord, he went for it. <laughs> I feel like sometimes Ghost goes for a lot of uh, high-risk, high-reward plays, so in that one, he's got nothing to really lose at this point, instead of going for you know, a safe, more damage-effective approach. But it looks like he's been able to take the game into his favor for the moment. I would like to see more aerial pressure when Script lands on this platform as well goes. Roll on down smash. Good evasion there, and he, he needed that. <laughs> what a read. Jumping into game three. This be it. Let's see how it turns out. He got it. Oh my lord. Oh. Just a bit outside on that forward smash. It would have been crazy if he got it. I'm pretty confident that would have killed. I really feel like Ghost probably shouldn't have swung with that back air because it did lead into the dual hit and the fan of the Zelda. And a couple times he's been caught with these fireballs. Um, or basically, he's been caught with his pants down where he, he lets the fireballs go and he's been able to hit him with the up beat. But that was a good kill confirm right there. I feel like sometimes when he goes to the place, he just swings and, like I said, high risk, high reward. And uh, it looks like the script maybe catches on to that a little bit. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see what the mix up is, essentially. Oh my lord. Calling out the roll on, um, remembering the last time that down smash hit. So. Let's see. Okay. Forward smash. And he kind of just runs over two ledge I mean, it's better than I guess, getting hit with up B from center stage. The up smash is going to do it, so he's been able to call out uh, his aerial position a couple times there. And it really paid off for him. Now he's got to recover, so he should have a jump. A good shield, he, he really did need that. I feel like he's got to take. Well, wait, no, no, no. He's got to watch out. He needs a better approach to watch out for that Phantom. He's really playing into it. Chris um, really just looking for any way to confirm into the up kill. 
Because you notice maybe that'll call us in. If Ghost can catch on to it, it's really easily possible to bring it back. But it wasn't to be. Good stuff to script, and uh, I do hope we see Ghost bring it back. 